What's up guys, Mark here, and in this video I wanted to talk about the Mac OS X, or OS X as it's now called, 10.8.3 update. Now this was released, if I just go over to this uh, Mac Rumors article here, I'll post the link to this and the other article that I'll be using in the video description. Now this was on uh, Thursday, 14th of March, as you can see Apple releases OS X 10.8.3. Now to be honest, for, for me, being a Hackintosh user, there's not really anything particularly amazing. I mean, as it's only a point release um, from dot .2 to dot .3 as opposed to a, a whole new OS, they haven't really done a lot. I mean, redeeming iTunes gift cards using your camera, that's pretty cool. I suppose I could do that if I ever need to. Uh, boot camp support for Windows 8, that might come in handy. Uh, boot camp support for Macs with a 3 terabyte hard drive, again that doesn't apply and the rest doesn't really apply, I mean include Safari 6.0.3, that's kinda handy I guess um, but so um, so yeah this was the, the article about the release now the main thing for me which isn't actually shown in um, isn't shown in the Mac Rooms article. I'll just point out this: the, the uh, 10.8.3 spent three and a half months in testing. Now that's insane for a point release. I mean, there was about 14 betas, 14, and you know, maybe some of this stuff took longer than they thought, and they had issues that they didn't uh, foresee. But 13 releases—that is—that is extraordinary. Um, but anyway, what I was saying was the the main thing for me. Uh, um, with the 10.8.3 update, if we head on over to the Tony Mac x86 uh, website, they've got an article here on the 10.8.3 update. Um, now, if you just scroll down, the main thing for me is updated NVIDIA graphics drivers. Now, more specifically, this line right here. GTX 650 Ti, that is my graphics card right there. And as you can see, fully supported cards. Now what this means is, and I have tested this, um, I re-downloaded the install Mac OS X Mountain Lion app from the App Store and created a 10.8.3 uh, UniBeast drive. Now if you want to do this, it's very simple. Basically just go onto your, uh, the Mac App Store, download the Mountain Lion app. It won't cost you anything obviously because you've already purchased it. And that app will then contain 10.8.3 and then just uh, erase your installer USB and just rerun UniBeast, you don't have to download a new program or anything like that just rerun UniBeast and it will create a uh, bootable drive with 10.8.3 on it now what this means for me personally is that I no longer have to switch graphics cards when I reinstall when I tried to reinstall with 10.8.2 I couldn't reinstall using my graphics card, I had to put in my old card do the installation and then swap the cards back whereas now, I tried this yesterday I can just do a reinstall exactly as if I was on a real Mac. Just go through the install, restore from my Time Machine backup, uh, rerun MultiBeast for my audio and install Wi Fi and Ethernet, etc., and I'm good to go. So that was the main thing for me right there was the uh, GTX 650 Ti NVIDIA drivers. Now, there are two ways to update from 10.8.2 to 10.8.3. Now, I have already updated, as you can see, 10.8.3. Um, because I didn't think of doing a video until after I'd done it. But there are two ways to update. You can either go, you can either Google, if you Google OS 10 10.8.3 combo update, and click this one right here, click download, 793 megabytes. I'll just be right back, guys, two, give me two seconds. Sorry about that guys, uh, the house phone rang and I was the only one that could answer it. Um, so as I was saying, it's quite a large file, 793 megs. Um, but this will allow you, if you have any specific texts that you know from past experiences don't tend to work um, after an update and it breaks your system, what this will allow you to do um, is install the update and then reinstall any texts before you reboot. Whereas if you, so that's one way to do it, whereas if you went to software update, obviously it's not going to show up because I've already done it, but I did software update and I got Mac OS X 10.8.3 update, I just clicked update and the update downloaded, said you need to restart, I got the lovely installing update splash screens, 
and it just worked. I rebooted and all I had to do was reinstall my Wi-Fi card and my audio and that was it and everything else worked fine. So if if uh, you know from again from past experiences that you can update your system through software update and there's just a few things that don't work like me it was the audio and the Wi-Fi then just go ahead and update but please make sure you have a time machine backup before you do because then if something goes wrong you can then restore from your time machine backup on 10.8.2 now personally obviously if you use the software update method it's more like having a real Mac but some people's hardware um, if they've got specific kecks, oh look I do have some updates um, if they've got specific kecks that they need to use then you need to go the combo update route um, speaking of time machine backups what I'm going to do later today is a video on uh, restoring from a time machine backup on your Hackintosh so look out for that one so that's it for this video guys I just wanted to give you a quick update on the 10.8.3 update um, if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up uh, I really do appreciate it and if you've like this video also then please check out my channel and subscribe because it really does mean a lot so that's it for now guys and I'll catch you all in the next video bye bye